Hey, all right, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We also have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. The question today is how to create a frequency distribution from this data. Now, I'm going to let Mike go first today. He's going to show some formula ways, and we'll come back and we'll talk about a pivot table way to do the same thing. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, we have our data set here, and we want to build a frequency distribution. Now, we have some values. We want to group them and then count to get the frequency. So our first group will be 10 up to 15, so we'll get a count of 1. Our second group will be 15 up to 20, we'll get a count of 1, 2, 3. The frequency will be 3. I'm going to use the frequency function, but the frequency function, you have to tell it what the upper limit is for each category. So I'm going to type upper, type a, a 15 and a 20. Highlight those, and then our little fill handle, click and drag. You can see because we've established a pattern, add 5, it knows to increment those. Now I'm going to type frequency, and our frequency function requires that we highlight the, the cells. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 categories, so 5 cells, and we need to have 5 upper limits. And we're going to type frequency. It wants the data, comma, and the upper limits. Whoops the upper limits here. Now what does the frequency function do when it gets to this category here? It'll say 15 up to and including 20. So the upper limit is included when you use the frequency function. Control shift and enter. This is an array function. Control shift enter. Alright, now what if we didn't want this 15, we wanted the 15 down here, so 15 up to 19.99. Well I'm gonna just type a penny down here, 0 .01, copy, highlight the range, right click pay special operations so right here we'll say subtract and instantly it will subtract a penny we have some new upper limits the frequency function sees the new upper limits and boom it counts uh, exactly what we want now this is a report maybe not as explicit as we want maybe we want our labels to uh, say 10 up to 1999 I'm gonna click on this sheet and if we scroll over here, we have categories, 10 up to 14.99, 15 up to 19.99. So I've created these categories so there's no confusion about uh, which category, the, the definition of each category and which count goes into which category. Now, frequency function, upper limit, it includes upper limit. Sometimes you do not want that. Let's look at a different example here. If you have 10 up to 15, a label like this and the 15 is not included so 10 up to 15 well the frequency function won't work if you give it a 15 it'll work with the, the 14.99 you'd have to use a formula like this the sum products for example you check that whole range for less than the upper limit check the whole range a second time greater than or equal to the lower limit. So you see the lower limit is included with this formula, the upper limit is not, and it counts everything in between. Now, uh, that's fine. Uh, um, another option, if you have 2007, is used to count ifs with an s. So there we have our criteria range and our criteria. Notice we had to ampers, uh, uh, put the comparative operator in quotes in ampersand, the upper limit. Same with the second criteria, greater than or equal to the lower limit. If that wasn't enough, you could also do two count if formulas. Now, these examples, we just saw some product count ifs, that's for when the lower limit is included but the upper limit is not. But if you got your upper limit and it is included, wow, frequency function, nice, straightforward. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Mr. Excel. How's uh, Mike? Those formulas are enough to make my head spin. Let's take a look at the easy way to do this. I'm going to come here to my data. I'm going to use Insert Pivot Table. Click OK. Now I'm going to want to put Sales down the left-hand side, and then Sales again in the Sum Values area. Now that's going to put it in as Sum of Sales, but I want to change that. I'll choose the first one, go to Field Settings, and say that I want to show this as a count. There we go. So basically we see every item appears exactly once. It's almost useless, but check out what we can do. I'm going to go to the very first item, right click, choose Group, and then say that I want to start at 10, go up to 
35 in five unit increments. Click OK and BAM! There we are. We're done. Our frequency distribution. Great, great way to create this without creating any formulas. Well, hey, on behalf of Mike and myself, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast.